हेलो गाइज डॉक्टर रीतम हियर वेलकम टू माई चैनल वॉन्डरिंग डॉक्टर सो एज ए प्रोमिस्ड आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेडिकल प्रॉब्लम्स इन किड्स सो आई एम अ पीडियाट्रिशियन सो टूडे माई टॉपिक वॉट आई एम डिस्कसिंग इज बेसिकली विच इज़ अ वेरी कॉमन टॉपिक वी सी इन डे टू डे लाइफ इज कॉमन पीडियाट्रिक रेस्पिरेटरी प्रॉब्लम्स सो आई हैव नोटेड डाउन फ्यू पॉइंट्स यर एंड आई विल डिस्कस अकॉर्डिंगली and um, first thing is uh, how do you divide the common pediatric respiratory problems the common problems that uh, basically we discuss uh, we can divide it into two parts one is the upper airway obstruction and the second one is lower airway obstruction and the complication of upper airway and lower airway can be a pneumothorax which is a latent stage and uh, so first thing is upper airway obstruction so what is the cause behind upper airway obstruction first thing we have to know is etiology so the etiology is basically it can be viral or it can be bacterial and the pathology behind upper airway obstruction or any obstruction is basically uh, there is edema of soft tissue in the upper airway that is the trachea and because of the tracheal edema there will be difficulty in breathing and there will be increased respiratory workout so now how do you divide into this uh, divide this upper airway obstruction so we have basically two parts one is uh, the subglottic area and the second one is epiglottic area so how do you know what is subglottic and what is epiglottic areas so basically we have our vocal cord here and the above the vocal cord the part is called epiglottic area and the below part is called subglottic area so any obstruction in these areas can cross increase breathing or fast breathing and uh, that can cause lead to hypoxia in the child so the symptoms what basically we get in upper airway obstructions are uh, first thing child may come with a normal fever cough cold which can get progressed very fast within one or two days and then they may present with something called suprasternal retractions so what is suprasternal retractions basically retractions is fast breathing and suprasternal so basically we have the bone sternal bone right here and above this part is the supra suprasternal part so there will be increased breathing which will cause the retractions which will be noticeable here it is called suprasternal retractions so this is the common symptom what child may present with and the other thing which is almost uh, similar kind of presentation which has uh, that is called Uh, obstruction in the upper airway which is basically because of the muscle tissue edema or the edema of the tongue so this also presents almost similar way that is uh, but they may present with something called snoring sound or snorting sound so uh, how do we identify and differentiate between these two uh, basically what we have to do is we have to extend the neck of the child which will relieve the edema of the upper airway in the tongue or muscle tissue and that will help the child breathe and the sound will go the snoring sound or snorting sound will not be present so this is how it is and next thing is uh, the treatment which is very important uh, basically first you have to position the child the positioning always at home also you can do is whenever child is having a breathing difficulty you can just uh, extend the neck little bit and keep the child Uh, and the second thing is in hospital setup we give nebulization with epinephrine or adrenaline uh, this epinephrine what it does is basically it goes to the tracheal tissue and it decreases the edema there so because of decrease in the edema child uh, will be improving very fast and uh, he will have a normal breathing <coughs> and uh, the types of upper airway obstruction uh, basically there are a few things one is epiglottitis Uh, which is a very commonest and dangerous phenomena what people should know about and presentation is almost similar but uh, there is something called croup croup is a very common feature of epiglottitis so what is croup so croup is basically a condition where there is something called inspiratory strider so whenever the child will try to breathe there will be increase uh, or difficulty in breathing with a noise so it is basically a uh, inspiratory strider that means whenever child will try to inspire or take the air inside they will have a inspiratory strider or otherwise we can see it is like a parking type of cough 
so other symptoms are normal cough cold fever and um, so how do you basically uh, differentiate uh, differentiate uh, epiglottitis with upper airway obstruction so normal upper airway any other uh, obstruction it is not so severe all the time but epiglottitis may have high fever and the child may appear very toxic toxic looking child very anxious and restless and uh, in this moment you have to take the child to a er for the emergency treatment and um, the common other problems are basically child may have a difficulty in even talking breathing and swallowing he may or she may complain of uh, difficulty in swallowing even even liquid so in that moment they will have increased drooling of saliva and to comfort himself child may come to a position called tripod position so this tripod position what child does is basically he will extend uh, his neck and then he will uh, extend his arms to come to a tripod position and then uh, it will uh, relieves normally his uh, breathing difficulty and it's a physiological phenomena and we should not disturb the child and let the child be like that uh, at uh, house setup and then you have to take the child to a er so what are the complication that can cause uh, epiglottitis so basically epiglottitis is an emergency and it may lead to complete blockage of the airway which can lead to a cardiac failure also so it can cause cardiac arrest so you have to remember if by chance there is any doubt in your mind please go to the doctor and confirm what is happening to my child this is one point i want to clarify and the other thing is uh, the treatment part uh, basically if the child is in emergency room and he is having total blockage of airway the only way out is tracheostomy which is basically making a surgically done hole on the trachea that is here and uh, to help the child breathe externally and the other things we can give is oxygen inhalation the first thing and uh, we can start with antibiotics with iv fluids and uh, there will be bronchodilators like levosalbutamol which can be used in a condition like this and child requires complete rest and oxygen inhalation it will improve the child condition so for today uh, i will discuss this much and uh, the other part i will show you in some photographs some videos are there which will explain you better and hope uh, you guys like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more information regarding the <coughs> diseases in your pediatric age group and uh, thank you guys thanks a lot so that's all for today so we can see the sternal retractions here in the baby and strider is a high pitched noise that occurs on inspiration and is uh, the, the noise essentially of the turbulent airflow that this picture shows the epiglottitis which is in the hypopharynx area above the vocal cords. Here we can see the edema of the soft tissues on the upper airway causing the obstruction. Thank you guys and please comment and ask any queries if you have.